What's something that runs in your family? Men. Well, my husband's family. My husband carries a genetic anomaly that makes all girls unviable. They all die in the first trimester. It is similar to Turner's syndrome but not at the exact same marker. There have been no girls born in the paternal line in 130 years that we can confirm, we don't have records from when his relatives emigrated from Europe. Every woman in the family has married in. Edit, typo. Maybe someone needs to carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain to break the curse. If only if only. Drugs, abuse, and the biggest fucking noses ever. Well with a nose like that the coke just snorts itself. Your honor, I wasn't snorting coke. I was just checking the smell. And well. Big nose. Genetically predisposed? Addiction and nose shape are highly genetical based. So it is very, very probable that op is right. Mental illness, alcoholism, poor decisions. Same, it's why I'm not ever gonna have children. Same, but I did have children and guess what? Yeah. You were right. Time for more alcoholism and poor decisions then. Thank you for validating my choice of not making children due to the point and topic. Although I'm sure you're doing much better than you think. Everyone keeps talking about bad stuff but everyone in my family has a full head of hair. Nice. Some pretty shitty things run in my family but me, my brother, and my grandmother all have triple row eyelashes which I'm pretty grateful for Lamau. I'm so jealous. I have the worst eyelashes, to the point I get extensions. Enjoy those lovely lashes. My natural eyelashes are so long they tangle in my eyebrows. Am male. Life is so unfair. Big boobs, alcoholism, heart disease. We're here for a good time, not for a long time. Deleted. Raised eyebrow. Male porn stars, the Spaniard side of my family have been to porn a lot. My other Aussie half are lawyers. Ha 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 ha, either way somebody's getting it right. Financially or in the earlobes. I think I hear someone coming. I hope you're using protection, otherwise you might end up with hearing aids. Being left-handed. Us too. Several lefties in my family. Same. Of my seven siblings, I'm the only lefty. My paternal grandfather was the only other lefty. Don't tell them righties, but they just ain't as smart. Bless their hearts. My siblings married lefties. I'm the odd man out. Nobody runs in my family. Well it's better than having family run away. Nobody runs in my family. Eric Cartman. In my language the word running and somebody being a whore sound extremely similar and I'm just so angry that I can't make a joke about Cartman's mother actually running. ADHD Yeah the more I research the possibility of ADHD for myself, the more I see it in both of my parents. I suspect my dad and uncle had it. Me too. I'll go see about getting checked for it eventually. If I can remember to make an appointment. I was about to say this. When my son got diagnosed with ADHD inattentive type, so much of myself and my family's behavior began to make sense. Our second toe is longer than our big toe. Yo I got that too. It's annoying because it often rubs against shoes. And the toenail rubs up against the shoe. I believe it's called Morton's toe. I've got it too. I'm the only one of my siblings that does. Our family has a thumb that bends back 90 degrees. Our men check the babies to make sure. Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, a unique branch of SVT slash supraventricular tachycardia, basically you have an extra node slash electrical pathway in your heart. This would cause random attacks where my resting heartbeat would shoot up to 180 plus beats per minute and would last for up to an hour. My biological grandpa on my mom's side died of it at 26 years old, came home from work, was talking to my grandma and died mid-sentence. It skipped my mother's generation and then I was born with it. Thankfully I got a catheter ablation at 14 and temporarily fixed it. I'm 26 now and haven't had an issue with it, 
but the cardiologist said I will 100% have to get another procedure done eventually as the scar tissue that is covering the extra node will either dissolve or fall off, I forget which one, pretty sure the tissue will fall off, and I will start to experience the attacks again. Could possibly kill me next time as I'll be much older and won't be able to bounce back from the attacks like I did when I was 14. Praying neither of my children got it. Just curious how was this diagnosed? My brother has had three attacks. He wakes up suddenly with his arms numb and heart racing and has been hospitalized all three times. His symptoms subside by the time he gets to the ER, so they observe and release him each time. Several medical professionals have suggested WPW, but that's as far as the conversation goes and they tell him to take COC-10. Very curious how you were tested for this. Thank you. Bad eyesight, literally everyone in my family wears glasses. Besides me. You wear contacts. Same. My brother doesn't have glasses yet, but he probably will at some point. Deleted. Same. Just sprinkle it with diabetes. Just sprinkle it with diabetes. Ha. My family is diabetes and depression with a sprinkling of cancer. A common trio. I think. Same. Chronic, debilitating migraines. Been suffering with them since I was 9. Only found a treatment that actually helps a handful of years ago. We might be family members. I was diagnosed with them at 4 and have wished I was dead many times as I laid in agony in a pitch black room while life passed me by. Oddly enough, pregnancy is what cured them after 26 years of getting them. I still get them maybe once every couple weeks, but they are much milder and treatable. Same. What treatment did you find that helps? I'm on propane lol just now but my migraines have been getting more frequent lately so I'm gonna ask to switch. Noses run in my family. Our eyes. Whenever we meet people and there is more than one family member everyone comments on our eyes and how they are the same. Is it the same color? Everyone in my family has a variation of hazel. All brown except my dad, a little more hazel. Me and two of my cousins have our grandmother's eyes. No limbo ring. Above average height. My maternal grandmother and aunt both topped six as did my father and both brothers. My family's height is kinda weird. Both of my paternal grandfathers are like 5 feet 6 inches, but both of my maternal grandmothers are 5 feet 8 inches. Almost all of the men on my dad's side of the family are 6 feet 3 inches plus but my dad's like 5 feet 10 inches. I was 5 feet 7 inches at my sister's age but she's only just now frowned to 5 feet 0 inches. I'm 5 apostrophe 9 F but my 7 years slash O brother is up to the top of my chest. Genetics are weird, man. Both of my paternal grandfathers both of my maternal grandmothers. How many grandparents do you have? As many as it takes, apparently. My great, great grandma had massive boobs. She hated them. She prayed that her female descendants would have small boobs. Literally every female that is a biological descendant of her has small boobs. So small boobs now run in my family. I have very large boobs. None of my aunts nor grandmothers had large boobs. I had a breast reduction at 15. By the time I had baby number 2, I had even larger boobs. I prayed my daughter wouldn't have large boobs. Well, she didn't need a reduction, but she has big boobs. Edit, spelling slash word correction. Like with an exoskeleton and stuff? I see what you did there. Autoimmune diseases. Half my mom's huge family has celiacs, Hashimoto's, or both. My son is the lucky one who drew the type 1 diabetes card. And I just found out a few days ago that I probably have Hashimoto's now. I have celiac along with my mom and sister. My mom's brother has Hashimoto's. My latest diagnosis was Crohn's. Me too. Ronald Reagan, George H. W. Bush. William Jefferson Clinton, or Barack Obama may be my dad.
Bed wetting. I wet the bed pretty much nightly. My sisters did. My mom did. Apparently my grandma did. My daughter is struggling to potty train so I guarantee she'll be in nighttime diapers for a while. We all did well into our teen years. Me, my brother, and my dad had that problem. My dad still inexplicably wets the bed at least a few nights a year. I had to go on a prescription medication at age 7 to get mine to stop. My brother is 7 and we tried the medication on him a year ago and then again this year but it hasn't worked. I wet the bed until after I graduated from HS. The connection from my bladder to my brain didn't fully function while I was asleep. Most of the time when I did in HS my mind would wake up but my body wouldn't so I was fully aware I was wetting the bed but unable to do anything to stop it. And when I finished I would instantly fall back to sleep. Diarrhea. It runs in our genes. LOL. Be careful with that joke, it's an antique.